Hello, my water sign friends. Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Thursday, August 30th love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. If this does not resonate, make sure you check your other signs. All right, my loves, here we go. One more. All right, water signs. What can you expect today in love? Your central issue is B2 of Swords. Having to make a tough decision could possibly include a third party. That was the next card at the bottom. Cancer. You guys have the Four of Pentacles. Pisces. You guys have the Prince of Swords. Scorpios. Beautiful, the sun. Okay. So, um, for you cancers, you guys are blocking everybody, not allowing anybody near your heart, um, until you make a decision. Uh, what's this decision about for of pentacles for our cancer males? Over a fire sign female. Ooh. Okay, so um, Cancer, you guys have a decision to make um, whether to invest in this Queen of Wands or whether to walk away. Um, you feel like this Queen of Wands is, uh, I keep hearing bitchy, <laughs> that you guys could be um, arguing a lot. They, they are, um, they're very bitey with their words and it's kind of hurting you. It's hurting your feelings. It's breaking your heart and you're wondering your decision um, is whether to stay or go. But for right now, you're just holding on tight to these um, emotions of yours. Yeah, this is a soulmate, however. So I do see you guys working this out. Um, you do love this person. They're just acting different, you feel, and you're not sure. So you're nervous to fully invest in this person. Cancer females, you guys have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So um, you are also holding on tight to your emotions. Um, you're holding tight to your memories, I'm hearing. Um, somebody, you have been uh, giving somebody the cold shoulder, an earth sign possibly, or an air sign, but uh, you have been giving them the cold shoulder. They really, they, they hurt you. They broke your heart. You're deciding whether or not to cut them out or not. You are going to um, come out of this uh, silent treatment phase today, and um, you are going to open up and speak to them, I am hearing, uh, but you're still guarded. You're still holding on tight to your heart um, because n neither one of you have made a decision yet, males or females. Pisces, why is the Prince of Swords here? Ooh. All right. Oh, geez. Females. Okay. Pisces, you guys are finding out some information, both male and female. Um, and it's uh, causing you to doubt. It's causing you to um, have to make a, de a, de ugh, a decision, a choice. Um, it's not going to be easy. Uh, you're at a crossroads. It has to do with uh, somebody in your relationship that is not meant to be there. You have to pick a path. You're, you're learning some information today about one of uh, your partners, or if you are the third party, um, you are hearing some sort of information and now it's causing you to question where to go from here. Um, Pisces females, can we say stuck, not knowing what to do, confused, um, two of swords in your overall uh, issue or central issue, you are hearing some information. Actually, I'm hearing you found some information on a partner um, and it's causing you to take a step back, try to reevaluate the situation. Um, you are going to make a decision though um, within the next two days is what I'm hearing about whether or not to give this person another chance or to move forward on your own. Um, you're not going to sit in this position very long. Pisces females, you've kind of had it up to here. You've kind of, you know, you're sick of their shit type of stuff. Um, just when you think that things are getting better, in comes some more information or you find something on their phone or an email comes in something 
and it has you questioning it all over again. Scorpios, you guys have a beautiful energy today. Um, with the sun, you're doing what you want. You're not listening to anybody. Um, you got two options, um, and you're going to follow your heart. You're going to do what you want. You're not going to listen to society's um, opinions. You're not going to listen to friends, family. You are finally taking charge. You are finally getting on that horse and doing what you want. The sun is guiding you. This is destined for you to happen or for this to happen. Um, you could have been waiting on a fire sign or you are wanting to move towards a fire sign and you've been hesitant um, because you weren't quite sure that how they felt. Um, they Their emotions have kind of been up in the air. Uh, you're waiting for a message from a fire sign before you make a decision is what I'm hearing. Um, but no matter what you choose, it's the right path because the universe is going to make sure you're on that right path. Also, things that you did in the dark with a, a Sagittarius. I don't know why I just said Sagittarius. I meant fire sign, but probably a Sagittarius. Things that you've done in the dark are going to come to light. And it's going to cause uh, somebody in your energy to have a, to have to make a decision about you as well. Uh, Scorpio females. You guys have the chariot in reverse. So you're waiting. You're waiting for somebody. You are choosing not to move forward because you feel this person is destined for you. Uh, it could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Cancer. But you feel that this person is your destiny. You feel that the universe is going to put you guys back together on your path. And so you're refusing to move forward. Um, and that is your choice. Uh, now you are just waiting for them to choose you. Uh, they could be with somebody else and you're waiting for them to come back or they're single and they are, um, just working on putting themselves back together. And, but either way, the sun is here. So this is your destiny, whatever you're dealing with, whatever, um, is going on right now, it is meant to happen that way. And holy like cow, the it's in reverse again. Yep. So, um, they are. I do feel for Scorpio females, they are coming back. Um, Scorpio males, you're waiting on this message, but it will come into you. Um, not today, though. Um, probably in the next one to ten days, you'll hear from this fire sign that you've been waiting on. All right, water signs, let's see what the angels have for you today. What do our water signs need to know for August 30th? Soulmate. Oh my gosh, you guys just see me how much I shuffled that. This is your soulmate. So um, most definitely you guys are dealing with soulmates. Like I said, for um, you cancers, uh, well, I said it for both male and female that this is your soulmate because you uh, had the two of cups clarifying it. Um, Pisces, you're dealing with a third party uh, males. Yeah, and females, you're you're um, in a hangman uh, position right now after hearing some news, but you're going to heal. All of you are dealing with soulmates. So... Um, if you had any question, any doubt, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, it's just uh, we're in a time of healing and motion. Uh, everybody is moving. The, the planets are shifting. We are shifting. Our energy, our conscious, everything is shifting. So um, take it all in. Uh, take your time. Heal. And when you move forward, you will be moving into a beautiful soulmate connection. So um, keep hope and faith in that. Uh, you guys have overall a pretty good Thursday. So uh, be watching for channeled messages for September. They will be released tomorrow. I want to thank you all for coming and watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how it resonates. Um, and I will see you next time. God bless.